So the question is, you know, what type of tools do you use given a limited budget and giving, given the fact that, you know, once you sort of choose a tool, there's really, I mean, there's still some sense of going back, but, you know, if you purchase this subscription or this tool and you kind of have to go with it. So what are the tools that, that we chose and what, the, what are the tools that future builders can choose? You know, and when I think about the, the I call it the tech stack, and when I think about the tool bag that, that L&D should have at their disposal, to me, it's, it's clearly biased towards cloud-based technology 100%. I mean, for us, we decided that instead of Adobe Captivate or Articulate Storyline, we were gonna go with Articulate, but 360 Rise, which is their, their modern cloud-based authoring tool, right? So that gives you the chance to be flexible. It's so much more shareable. There's metrics involved in it because it's cloud-based and they collect all these metrics and you know how difficult it is to get and gather metrics at the end of the year. Um, not only that, but cloud-based tools, because you know I've been living in the startup world for a long time, they're so malleable in the sense that they improve upon themselves each and every month, right? We have a monthly release cycle at Bluescape. So that means that every month our product gets that much better. So if you're into cloud-based technology and you select a tool like Articulate 360, that means that there's the potential for that tool to form into to become something new each and every release cycle, something better. And so you're not stuck with like waiting for Adobe Captivate to come up with the next version of Captivate. You're actually living through the, the, the growth of the product and the tools. And as it gets better, your team gets better because you're given more features, more functionalities. You can do a lot more with the authoring process. So that's one of the tools that we decided on, right? And we also have, a technical writers on our team as well. And I actually lost a technical writer because I decided to move him away from a more traditional tool. Uh, it was called Madcap Flare. It's a really popular authoring tool for tech writers. We moved away from that and we chose a tool called Document 360, which is also cloud-based. It gives you the chance to manipulate your content, to share, to duplicate, to do all kinds of great things with your content. But I lost him because he was so tied to the last two decades of technical writing using Madcap Flare that he just wasn't willing to convert to a new tool. And to me, it was worth losing him in order to gravitate towards this new technology because I just knew that it was the right way to go. And you know, since then we have built three different knowledge bases and we could never have built three distinct knowledge bases without the help of cloud technology and the things that a cloud-based tool really offers you at the end of the day. And then of course we have our, our learning management system and we part, we've been partnering with uh, an organization called Skill Jar in Seattle for the last four or so years. So we stayed with them and as their organization has grown, their tool, their platform has grown and we've really been the recipients of those benefits as well. Um, and then it comes to, and then, you know, something I should also mention is video, right? A part of our learning team, we, we actually had the opportunity to build and create a, a studio for filming, for creating videography. So we built that and that's part of our tech stack as well, because we chose the, we were able to choose like these great cameras, the lighting, uh, the space, we were able to choose the technology that we use to edit the videography and to share the videography. And, we actually use a platform, called, a platform called Wistia. Uh, it's kind of like a corporate YouTube upon which we host our content. And that's been really beneficial when you're talking about metrics and analyzing video and seeing who's engaged, who's not. It even tells you at what point during the video do we, people break away from it, giving you the chance to go back and refine the video and, and ask yourselves, you know, are we doing a really good job during the 15 seconds that folks are watching this? Or is it so boring that after 15 seconds, they're deciding to watch something else? So it's, it's a great way to, to go back and to analyze, to refine and to curate content. And I would say as, as an aggregate, this tech stack, you know, we, we were lucky enough to have chosen the right tools, I think. And as an aggregate, I think it's a force multiplier. It gets you into marketing. It, it gets you into sales. It gets you into product management because it allows you to share and it allows you to bring people in to collaborate with you. And 
I think for me, that was one of the things that, that I felt was lacking in terms of L&D in the past, you know, the sense of being siloed to simply L&D and to not being able to collaborate with people across the organization. So, you know, if you're into building, if you're into growth, then you're also into creating relationships and building bridges and creating a, bit, a better foundation for yourselves in order to, to speak to, to the learning that you're creating and to have a more, a much more motivational um, sort of much more inspirational um, aspect to learning than, than ever before. And so that's really helped us, you know, the ability to use technology and social media and to really treat our content as if it was our own little company within the company and that we were building and growing this company along the way. And, um, you know, that that's really been something. So, you know, I would definitely say consider the tools if you have an opportunity to consider the, the, the cloud-based tools, the modern tools that are out there that can accomplish these things. And even if you're rebuilding and, and you're able to choose a new set of tools, you know, definitely give that consideration because no one says we have to stay with the tools of the past in order to accomplish the work of the future, right? It should be actually the opposite.